What's good, Barbies? I'm Nuki. And I'm Diana. What? Look at that fashion over gas and all these bitches, ay. Look how that Mario sit up nasty on them inches, ay. Big ol' booty, bet your nigga take a picture, ay. Tell me, yeah, book a flight, link up with you, what? Look at that fashion over gas and all these bitches, ay. Look how that Mario sit up nasty on them inches, ay. Big ol' booty, bet your nigga take a picture, ay. Tell me, yeah, book a flight, link up with you, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different, fun, kind of like a challenge. Yeah, so basically we have both been seeing a lot of different things where people just try out Dollar Tree food. Everyone has seen how they have like ribs, pork loin, like things like that. And we decided why not make the guy like a three course meal from Dollar Tree. Exactly. They don't know yet that it's a meal from Dollar Tree, but we're gonna see if they can figure it out or if they really enjoy it. The things that we are going to use is gonna be in this next clip. All right, Barbies, we're at Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. Okay, so we're at Dollar Tree and we're currently looking for how to make this gourmet meal for the boys from all Dollar Tree products. I think we're gonna go with like some pork loin steak and like green beans and mashed what potatoes is steak? on the side. <laughs> I'm just saying steak because you know, steak. It looks kind of big, but it's really big. All right, so we're first gonna grab some green beans. Which one do you think will be good? I think those are single peas. Oh, these ones right here. Yeah, those ones, yeah. Those All right. ones look so bad, much um, better. Where's the other ones? There's, this is the last one. <laughs> okay, well, the last one, guys. Mashed potatoes. Hungry Jack mashed potatoes. Okay. I don't know the difference between any of these. I don't either. I feel like that one might be better. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But we'll just grab one of these. Have we decided on the... It's a pork chop. <laughs> oh, we got some pork chop. It's a pretty good size. Kind of like two centimeters, but, you know. Just grab two, one for each. Yeah. Gravy. So, turkey gravy for our mashed potatoes. This is actually a really good brand too. Campbell's? Yeah, I know, that's crazy. <laughs> Cheese ravioli, I feel like would go so good with this. Or the, kind of want some popsicles too. Do <laughs> the pork and vegetable or the chicken and vegetable? Pork chicken. Chicken. And then let's grab a cheese ravioli for them to try out. Let's see, how does this get made? So it just says to boil it, and then I guess I have some marinara sauce at home, so I don't think I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in for some dessert. What do you think? Maybe? I think some apple pie. <laughs> I like some apple pie. It looks pretty good. <laughs> and some cream puffs. You're like two packets. <laughs> I like cream puffs. See how these taste. Now we're about to go and pay. We basically got our items in the cart. We'll show you guys more up close when we get to the house. But besides that, we're gonna try to get out before these defrost. <laughs> so for our appetizers we have some chicken and vegetable pastigers some cheese raviolis which we decided that we'll try to like make all cute on a plate together and then for our main course we have some pork some pork chop we got three just in case i defrosted them already and they are thin and i don't want anyone to get offended from this video <laughs> we do when we are laughing a lot just because we kind of got looked at weirdly in the line too when we were purchasing all of this yes they're like what are you planning to do today like seriously <laughs> well we also got two cans of green beans 
There are different brands, but we couldn't find, as you can see earlier. And then some mashed potato gravy. And then some mashed potatoes. We don't really know what the best mashed potato brand was there, so we just decided to grab something that looked good. Yeah, so basically. What, yeah. And then for our desserts, we have some cream puffs, apple pies, a cherry, a cherry blueberry pie, and then, yeah, the apple pie. So... We're gonna go ahead and put some of the frozen stuffs back in and we're gonna slowly start cooking. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and get a pot of water boiling with some salt in it because that's what it says on the packet. Not too sure how much to put in. It takes about five to 10 minutes for these to cook in water. So basically we're just gonna get these to boil and then we're gonna get on to making the pot stickers. <gasps> Hopefully they don't open. Every time I make ravioli, they always open. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start making the pot stickers. So this says, put a tablespoon of cooking oil into the frying pan with a fourth cup of water. Put the pot stickers in, something on, and the, a lid on top. All right, so now we have our pop stickers out. We're just gonna like basically steam them on a pan. The instructions on this says to put about a tablespoon of oil. For the oil boils, we're gonna add a fourth cup of water. I'm just gonna eye it out. I've never really done this, but the instructions are telling us to. Yeah. Whoa! And that's, see, that's what I've always wondered. Yeah. Where does water don't go together? I know, that's why I was so scared. I don't want to touch that. Well, it looks like it's about to catch on fire. Turn it off really quick. Oh my god. Oh, they literally said put a, a tablespoon of oil and then a fourth cup of fucking water. I'm like, oil and water. When I opened that bottle, I was like, wait. I know, I have to see, right? And this time, we promise it's not going to get too crazy, we hope. Let's just pour it on there. fresh pot stickers too even though this isn't completely part of it okay we don't have tongs i think i left them at the river every time we go <laughs> they look good fried though i'm so surprised the raviolis are pretty big they are still being cooked i'm not too sure when they will completely be done it's really good size too. Yeah, they're big. They look like peanut butter jellies. The one that you eat in <laughs> elementary school. I have them in the freezer. <laughs> I think I'm about to dump this out and then we'll get this situated on a plate once basically the pot stickers are done. Dollar mm -hmm. Tree pot stickers are about to be done. They're looking crisp and golden. I'm so excited for these. And our homemade ones, I think we're just gonna take them out and like boil them. For the rest of the way. Okay, so we rinsed our pan and now we're gonna go in with some green beans. We know that the green beans are like pre-cooked already but we're gonna like saute them. So it tastes better. Yeah we usually don't eat green beans out of a can. She has a whole ass farm so green beans out of a can isn't something like it's really in our lives. Yeah so this is some olive oil. I'm just gonna put in some garlic. We don't even have anything to mix it with. I'm like, <laughs> A green beans. Um, any time we do a cooking video, I think that you guys just see oil fly everywhere. Yeah, but that's how cooking is. And we got our gourmet green beans just like that. I'm like, Chef Ramsey would be so proud. 
Okay. He's like, water and oil do not go together. I'm like, are you sure the packet said? <laughs> packet said. It really did say to put oil and water together. Like, I really hope we do not get no fucking comments talking about you guys are dumb. You guys, yeah, we knew. We both didn't really say it to each other. <laughs> Just, we were like, it's the we're packet. We're following the instructions, okay? That's taste test. Hot. Onion powder, Asian chili, garlic, a little bit of salt. I usually use this mix when I make spaghetti, but I know that I've seen some people put herbs in there, so I'm like, my spaghetti herbs. Black pepper, and then some paprika. So we just put all the dry rubs on our pork chop and we're about to grill it with some olive oil. Sizzle. Okay, it's not that bad. We want that a little burn. Oh yeah. That's the thing. We basically, these are done. We are not going to cook them for that long. They're very, very thin, so we're not trying to have them be really dried out. We're about to take these straight off the stove, and then we're going to get in to make the mashed potatoes. We're going to go in now with the mashed potatoes. We're going to put about two cups and two-thirds of water. That's what the instruction says. A pinch of salt, some butter, four tablespoons of butter, and then we're going to mix that until it boils. I think this is our first time making packet. Um, mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, I boiled. swear to God, making mashed potatoes is so easy. <laughs> like so easy. Like it literally is the same things. You just really boil potatoes instead of having this powder packet. And I'm not trying to be mean because potatoes are like 13 cents a piece. <laughs> exactly. Like, like well, why make fat, fake potatoes when you can make real potatoes? But you know what this is? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. They're in the room right now. <laughs> Four tablespoons of butter. I'd say. About this much, honestly. Like we said, we've never made packet mashed potatoes. Yeah, but usually I like extra butter. I eye everything when I make regular potatoes, so extra, extra butter. <laughs> but we'll probably add that more later on. Fully formed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix that. So now that it's boiling, we are about to take this off and decide to add our milk. So I'm just gonna basically turn this off. This is our milk. We're supposed to add a cup and a third which is basically this whole thing. Okay, you guys, this is why we said that we never really have done this. Definitely is gonna be a different type of mashed potatoes. When we low key thought maybe we got too much butter and stuff like that, we're like, nope. They're gonna hate us. Like they hate us good. All right, Barbies, this is the finished potato. So we're just gonna go and put everything on a plate, make it look nice and pretty for the boys, and then we're gonna bring them in to eat. Let's get right into that because Johnny's already asking what the hell it is and he really wants to see it. And I swear to God, I don't think they're gonna know. I really, I think they're gonna be like, <laughs> no, he's probably listening, so we're gonna get right in. Cause I'm hot. <laughs> Cause I'm hot. <high. laughs> I don't know what they cook. Now the boys are here. We are gonna come up and dish up their food. The first thing being their appetizers. Three course meal for you guys. Oh, it's a three course meal. <laughs> <laughs> first Fancy. is appetizers. I know. You have to wait for this, okay? This? You'll understand it all at the way in. So these are your two appetizers. We couldn't we couldn't decide which one we wanted to go with. Oh, here's your fork. Uh, so these are our pot stickers, and then our ravioli cheese. Nice decoration. Thank you. Start digging in. Andy. Damn. We fuck the fourth thing. Those pot stickers, man. Might as well eat too, Diana. We'll try it out. Mm-hmm. I'll see what I got. Handmade, you know. Pot stickers. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't know. 
I do know it's pretty good though. How's the ravioli? Mm-mm. Try. You guys don't want to try it one more time? Kind of doughy. No. Kind of doughy? Johnny, try one more and tell us exactly how you taste how it tastes. Mark leans in this bitch. You have to do your face though. Mm. <laughs> you know when you do that thing uh. when you take one bite? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Ravioli. How do you like it? Alright. Alright? It's cool. It's like a. I give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10, okay? Oh, okay. it better be some steak. Alrighty. Main course. What the fuck is that? Your Damn, main course. so we don't need to go out to eat, bro. This is our presentation of how we decided to place the plates for the boys. Let's try to do this. This Why? Why what? Why is it from a can? Because we you will understand it at the way end. Yummy yummy this bread. Yummy yummy yummy. What does the potatoes taste like? Regular. That shit potato. That shit does not look regular. It's like dried. A little bit, could you know use a little bit more salt, yeah, some butter. No flavor to it. Yeah. I don't know about this though. Why? What, what do you mean you don't know about that? It doesn't that taste like pork, chick. What the fuck is this? Pork. Where's the pork stop? It don't taste like anything. It's just plain. Yeah, I, I have hella flavor on mine. You don't like the meat? Try it one more time. I tried two pieces though. Try it one more time. All right, bro. Barbecue in this. Mm, oh, oh shit! Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big chunk. Could you say I'm hungry? I am <laughs> hungry. So much, some parts are good, some parts aren't. It's not as like, it's not good. It's just plain. I mean, I give you an eight. An eight? Forever. <laughs> it's not bad. Cleared their plates, kind of. No one cleared. <laughs> they've they've cleared their plates, kind of. Johnny, Johnny's like the meat, so. Get this Dollar Tree ass pie out of here. Cream puffs. You know the cream puffs are good. I don't like cream puffs. You don't like cream puffs? No. How are the cream puffs, hun? Look at those pies, you guys. Those pies are literally so delicious looking. Especially that one. Well, it's like oozing. Cream. If it's not cream, what is it? I don't know. It's like whipped cream. What? Hold on, what are you talking? What's wrong with it? Everything. No, it's not. I, right, I grew up with, with meat pies and shit and like, you know what I'm talking about? Those like pies that you buy at the store, you eat it. Yeah. But not a pie pie. What did you expect from the pie? Or maybe have vanilla ice cream on top would be good. That's what I said. Cheers. Tell us how you liked it. It was good. <laughs> there was mind? something that you would just make, like, to piss me off. <laughs> to piss you off? <laughs> like, are you trying to get back at me? Okay. Uh -huh. So, you guys, this meal was provided to you today by Dollar Tree. All of it. Everything. The meat. <laughs> the potatoes. The peas. <laughs> the, the pop stickers. Everything. Hey, the pop stickers. Let me get one. You got to try out Dollar Tree meat, you guys. It's pretty, it's not bad. It's not horrible but to be fully our whole meal costed $12.47. That could last you guys so long. Yeah. That was one meal for four people, basically. <laughs> That's the end of our videos, Barbies. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this little challenge. Didn't know it was a Dollar Tree challenge. <laughs> you guys are in sports, too. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later, Barbies. Bye! Bye.